welcome back to Jubilee Road. So continuing with the theme I've had here on the layout for the last few videos, which is, well, trying to save money and looking at cheaper locomotives and second-hand locomotives and that kind of stuff. And it seems to have gone down very well with you guys. It's extremely popular uh, and the channel has grown quite a bit since I started doing these types of videos. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do a few more of them. And please let me know in the comments if you want that to happen. So, let's get to the subject of today's video then. As you can see in front of you, you would know exactly what they are. They are pretty much one of the most iconic trains to ever come out of the UK, which is the Class 43 HST. Now, I would imagine you know what HST stands for, High Speed Train. These could do 125 miles an hour, and they hold the uh, record for the fastest ever diesel train. I can't remember exactly how fast it actually went, but I know it was more than 125 miles could have been around the 140-ish mark. Don't uh, take my word for that. Uh, I should have done my research on that, shouldn't I? So, as you can see in front of you, you have two different ones. We have the original colour sitting over there, the blue and yellow. And then we have my favourite livery, which is the Intercity Swallow. Now, these are old Hornby locomotives. They were probably built maybe in the 60s and 70s so these models really are getting on in today's video we're going to look at are they any good do a comparison to the more modern a hornby hst and generally have a look at them so let's have a look at these and see what they're like so here is the uh, front power car on this set now this is the one with the motor in it which is powering these four wheels at this end but as you can see straight away for a model that was built that long ago is there anything wrong with it well it looks wise no there really isn't you've got operating cab uh, cab lights sorry i meant headlights just see them on the front actually modeled really well you don't get a modeled um sort of windscreen wiper there it's part of the plastic molding but you can sort that out pretty easily the overall color i think i think they've done really well it's done really well the printing absolutely nothing wrong with that and you've got 43010 there that's the number of this the under frame detail yes it's all molded but it's all there and it looks rather smart and we do have uh, painted handrails there towards the rear. If you go up onto the roof, yeah, this one does have a slight bit of damage. That's how it came to me. Um, but the roof detail, again, is moulded. It's all there and looking rather smart. Uh, so if we go towards this end, I said this is where the motor is. Now, these have the old type motors, which are called ring field motors. I'm sure you all heard of those. Now, these motors can be a bit, well, iffy at times. But luckily, this one's rather quiet. So, uh, yeah, well, happy with that. Now, here's the coaches. Now, again, they have got a few marks and stuff. That's how it came to me. Now, if you look at these coaches, you might think something is a slightly off. Well, you'd be right. These are shortened coaches. I have no idea why Hornby made that decision. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure, but they look the part, don't they? I've got the first class here because it's got the uh, yellow lining. I have another two here, which you can see they're the standard class. And then we have the other power car, which is at the back. And this is number 11. Now, this doesn't have the motor in it. It's just the front. Although this one doesn't seem to be very freewheeling. It seems a little bit sort of uh, on the stiff side so I might put a little bit of oil on the axle boxes there but overall these really do look rather good now it's comparison time so here is the original then Hornby HST at the front and at the rear we have one of the more modern HSTs um, this is obviously in a completely different livery yes I know that uh, this is in the, the well, rather shiny GWR colours there but if you look at them there, yeah, they, they, the older one still cuts it today, to be honest. I really think it does. 
Yes, I suppose there's a bit more fancy detail on the front of this one, but does that really matter when it's flying around your layout? No, of course it doesn't. This one, it's still got the painted handrails here and here. The numbers are still pr printed really well and the, the GWR is printed well just as the Intercity 125 is printed well. So if we come back, you know, it's got, look how many years difference there is between these two. Yeah, this one's clearly going to run better. But yeah, comparison, these older ones really still stand up. I got the power car or drive car from this set all on its own now. Uh, we're going to give it a quick test here before sending it round the full out at the end of the video. Now, these, as I said, motors can be a little bit hit and miss, but normally they're pretty, pretty good. And this one isn't too bad. Now, this hasn't had a service for about 10 or 15 years. It was in storage for probably most of that uh, from a family uh, member, and they would give it to me about possibly five, six years ago, and I've hardly run it and I've not touched it. So it's not running perfectly, but considering how old it is and it's still working without any servicing at all, I think that's pretty good going. So let's give it a move. Now this is completely original. There's no fancy DCC chip in it. It's just the ring field motor as it was intended. So let's go in reverse and see how we do. See, it's not, as you say, you can see, not as smooth, but it's not too bad, is it? And as I said, this hasn't had a service for an awfully long time. And for a ring field motor, this is fairly quiet. So, you know, yeah, it does run a little bit on the rough side but that's more down to me not giving it a service and i definitely will do a sort of a revisit to this uh, in the next few weeks where the motor has been completely serviced and we'll fit it with possibly a decoder and stay alive uh, and add a couple of extra coaches to it and we'll come back and see really how these uh, run let me know then, do you have one of these? Um, I'm sure you do, uh, knocking about your layout or in storage or in a box somewhere. I really like these, and the good thing about these, they bring back memories. That's the good thing about these older Locos. And I'm going to say this quickly, I think we've kind of lost our way a little bit in the model world. We are all obsessed with how detailed and how you know, extras and all this and sound that we can pack into these locos. And we're kind of missing the point a little bit of model railways, is having fun with model railways. And these, this is what these older models give you. You can fly them around your layout. If they come off the track and hit something, you're not going to break them because there's nothing to fall off, which is always good. And perfect if you have younger children. Give them one of these they can't really break it unless they throw it across the room and hit a wall, but I'm not sure why they would do that. So let me know in the comments your thoughts and whether you think you should still buy these. I really think they should. They definitely have a place on your layouts, even today. Now, I've just put uh, some prices up for you. You can see the latest Hornby offering with two power cars. And then I found one on a well-known auction site. You can see there for two uh, power cars. Now the prices for these can vary considerably depending on the liveries so just go out there have a look and uh, see what you get and normally you can buy them cheaper with the set of coaches one they normally come with two. So thank you very much for watching uh, today's video and I would like to hear from you should I keep doing these kind of videos where we look in at the older locomotives. What I'm going to do I'm going to reconnect it to its coaches and send it around the layout a few times so we can uh, enjoy it running around the layout. I'll be back here at Jubilee Road or on location very soon. Bye everyone.